Here I just received a new battery from Amazon and I'm gonna replace the old one with this new one. All right, first of all, you need a panel of screwdriver to remove two screws in the bottom. One here, one and one here. Okay, once you have removed those two screws, use a razor blade like this. There is a tiny gap that you can insert this blade. Okay, now I have inserted the blade. I'll use a plastic prying tool to pry up the rest of the screen carefully. Now you'll notice that there's a cable connected to the logic board from the screen. You need to detach this uh, shield here in the middle. I don't know if you can see that, but you need to remove the metal shield and then disconnect this cable. Like that. Okay, that is our metal shield that was covering the connector. And then we need to remove the battery connector, which is right there after removing this metal shield. Shield removed. And then use a thin plastic prying tool to carefully remove this battery connector. Okay, battery connector removed. Now you can just replace the battery like this without uh, removing the screen but it's not recommended because you have to hold uh, this screen with your left hand or right hand and you have to work on this battery but it's almost impossible or really uncomfortable to do that. So I'll remove the screen too. Four more screws to remove this metal shield. Now carefully disconnect all the cables that you see. I see one right there. One more in the middle. One. Like that, three cables to disconnect and the screen is now free. If you look at the battery carefully in the bottom section, there is a magic pull tab. That is an adhesive tapes underneath this battery. Use a tweezer you can grab this magic pull tab adhesive in the bottom of the battery. You can easily remove this battery. See here I see an adhesive tape right in the bottom and all I need to do is pull it out but as you see, it didn't work. This happens to most iPhones, like especially old ones. It just disconnects like this. And after that, you cannot really remove the adhesive ring, I mean the tape, underneath the battery. In that case, now is the perfect time to use 99% isopropyl alcohol. I'm going to apply this 99 isopropyl alcohol, like this. to loosen the adhesive tape underneath the battery. Don't worry, this, this is not going to hurt your logic board or any other components. It's not like water, so don't worry. Just apply them and wait for a few minutes. Now, let me grab a, a large plastic prying tool like this. Yeah, this is really tough. I'm going to apply more and this will make my job a lot easier. Alright, 
it. It was really tough, but the battery is now removed. Great. Now all you gotta do is clean up this mess here, and remove this existing adhesive tape, and you can apply new tape here, and then install the new battery. And uh, before you reassemble everything, make sure you test the battery, uh, because sometimes you get defective batteries from online markets, so make sure you do the test before you put everything back. If you have any questions, leave comments, I'll do my best to answer your question. Thank you for watching.